Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to episode number 16 of Let's Replay Assassin's Creed 2. We have just arrived in Fordley slash Romania. Um, we're gonna meet up with Leonardo after we were attacked while on our way through the mountains by the Borgia's men. And then we're gonna take a ship to Venice after we meet Caterina Sforza for the first time. She's coming up soon here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna get this viewpoint first. So let's go ahead right here and get this viewpoint. I don't know why I had to get off the horse, but whatever. We got a week until uh, uh, Shadow of Mordor comes out, which I'm very excited for. That's my first new Xbox One game. The only ex the only game I have on Xbox One right now is Minecraft, because I just I got it for the one and holy draw distance, Batman! Like seriously, the draw distance is so much better. So like I can't play Minecraft on the 360 anymore. But luckily you can port all your saves over, which is good. So I mean, perfect. But that's the only game I have on Xbox One right now. Um, until I get Shadow of Mordor in a week. Now, I will not be doing a playthrough of the story. I'm gonna save those playthroughs for like Assassin's Creed related stuff, if I can. Um, I will be doing uh, Mordor shenanigans, if you guys want me to. So, and I want to. I mean, the open world looks really fun. So, we'll see how that turns out. Come here, horsey. I'm gonna be really busy with Assassin's Creed stuff, so I don't wanna be doing a, like th three story playthroughs or four story playthroughs yeah. all at the same time. Because I know what happens when oh, I do that. Happened. That means I end up giving up one and stopping one, and then I end up adding another game to the list of games I started playthroughs for but never finished. Last of Us! Dark Souls, which I want to finish. I actually do want to finish Dark Souls for you guys. I'll get back on that. Uh, hopefully soon enough. And uh, Bully. I never did finish Bully. Okay, I'm not going to take my dog out. A dog? My horse out to the docks. I see you, Leo. I'm coming. After I loot this gondola, of course. Oh yeah, also, I forgot to mention, we dyed our clothes in the last episode. And once we get to Venice, I'm gonna dye them blue. Here. Over here. I see you, I'm coming. Who just committed suicide? Avamposto Veneziano. Let's see what this is. Oh, there's a glyph here. Venetian naval strategy involved maintaining a steady chain of bases along their trade routes to the east, ensuring that its merchants were able to get there and back without being attacked by pirates or Venice's enemies, the Turks. By the end of the 15th century, Venice's fleet was occupied trying to force Charles VIII of France out of Italy, at which point Turkish forces struck without warning. Venice was soundly defeated, losing its Greek outposts. Following that, the Turks managed to invade Venetian territory in northern Italy. Although Venice was able to keep most of its territory from that point forward, it would never again be a great naval power. Aww. That's kind of sad. Anyway. Leo! Here. I know, here. I see you, god damn it. Hi. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. Hey, we met! What had to be done? You would have done the same. Ezio and him match, I mean, not me. I doubt <laughs> it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Uh, nobody. Nobody. <laughs> I said, Jinx. Basta. No pass, no entrance. Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Katrina! Standard! I need help! How did you get out there in the first place? You know, just saying. Help the screaming woman get back to the docks. Tutti a bordo. Get a boat! A good boat. Oh, out in the middle of the water. That's nice. Whee! God damn it. Okay, there we go. It's B. Okay, there we go. So, like, I don't have. Okay, there they are. Where are you, anyway? Oh, I see you. Katarina, I'm coming to save you! For the first time. <laughs> Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. Oh, but they do. And so will you. I wasn't looking to impress. <laughs> Wanted to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. Katarina Sforza. We're gonna read about her right now. 
profession, Countess of Forley and a noble. A countess by marriage, Caterina was notorious far before she ever arrived in Forley. Raised in the court of Milan, she received a classical education while tutored in the art of war by her father, the Duke. At court, Caterina also acquired a passion for alchemy and hunting. In 1473, when she was ten years old, Caterina became engaged to Gir Girolamo Riari, oh good lord, the Pope's nephew. They consummated their marriage when she was fourteen. Ugh. Once in Rome, she was heralded as one of the most outgoing nobles at court, while her husband had a reputation for being one of the most ruthless. With the premature death of the Pope's brother, Girolamo, <laughs> gained even more power, securing the titles of Lord of Imola and Forli. When the Pope died, looters sacked Rome, destroying Caterina's residence. Unafraid, despite being seven months pregnant, Caterina rode on horseback to the Castel Sant'Angelo and defended the Vatican with cannon fire and soldiers. How ironic, she'd become a prison prisoner there later in life. In 1484, she moved with her family to Forli. Paid off by someone with a grievance against her husband, the Orsi brothers killed Girolamo in 1488. Is that the bonfire of the Vanities DLC? I think so. Or is that afterward? I'm not sure. I don't remember. As a result, Caterina became the ruler of Forli and Nimola. She wasted no time winning the favor of nearby rulers, revising the tax system, and training the militia herself. Although she advocated peace when those around her were hurt, she dealt fierce vengeance, frequently killing enemies' wives and children in punishment. Damn, woman! While Forley was under attack by Cesare Borgia, the Pope's son, she sent Pope that the bed that they sent the Pope a letter that had been rubbed with plague sores. Oh damn, that's so neat God She reminded me of Cersei Lannister here. Ultimately, Fortley and Caterina fell to Cesare Borgia in fourteen ninety nine. Caterina was captured and sent to Rodrigo Borgia in Rome, who kept her in prison for a year and is rumored to have raped her alongside his son. No, but she wasn't. I remember. They actually talk about that as I'm carrying her out of the Castel Sant'Angelo. Ezio asks, so, like, did they do anything to you? And she says no, because her name must still have some value because they didn't, never touched her, which is good. When she emerged from the Vatican, her hair had turned white. Exiled to Florence, Caterina died of pneumonia in 1509. That must have been either there were rumors that were untrue or she was in prison there again. I don't remember the dates, guys. I'm sorry. If you could clear this up for me down in the comments, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. But I don't remember the exact dates. But she eventually died of pneumonia in 1509, which sucks. Meaning, by the time we reach Revelations, Katarina's already dead. She dies during Revelations' storyline, which is kind of sad. And you are Messer... Auditore. But please, call me Ezio. I'm Katerina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestion? There is perhaps yes. something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Oh, yeah. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. Oh, oh, oh. Look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Oh, this part's Please funny, too. Accept my most humble <laughs> we would talk to Leonardo on the ship. Had I known. <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend. What, does he assume I'm her husband or something? What'd she tell him? I still don't know. I don't know, I'm assuming that, at the very least, oh, he's an acquaintance of mine. Let him on the boat, damn it! Something like that. This is funny, though. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si, her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. It sounds like my kind Sempre of woman. Una donna per me. My kind of lady, whatever, I was close enough. <laughs> That's funny. My next conquest. Ah. Oh, Ezio. The ladies love you. To a fault. Talking to you, fangirls. Everything Woo! Right? Better than That's always. right, we go back to Desmond. I kind of forgot progress. about this. Amazing is quite a strong word. Then Shut the fuck why up, are Sean. we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's, it's nice that you tell him this after about. you put him in the machine. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What Yet. symptoms? 
Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And Snake they kept him merits. in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. Now that makes me think about Galena. Uh, Galena Voronina, I think. If you were on the Initiates website before they uh, closed it down indefinitely. Um, she is Russian, of Russian descent, and I have my suspicions if you watched my old uh, Unity logs um, on my Junity channel. I have my suspicions that he could be, she, excuse me, could be Desmond's uh, stepsister. Like, she could be this descendant of Eve that we're struggling to figure out, and he's, uh, De Desmond's the descendant of Adam. Um, but when they first built the Animus back in the 70s, 80s, um, the bleeding effect was, like, ridiculous. The entire Russian faction, in Moscow at least, went completely insane, including Galena's mother and her twin. Um, of Galena's twin sister. So, but she didn't go crazy. Galena was winning the animus just like everyone else. But she's perfectly fine. Like, she's totally sane, at least as far as we know. But everyone else was literally just going batshit insane. So that makes me think that maybe she can control the bleeding effect. That could have been a hint. Because, I mean, like, they have started working on Unity uh, right after Brotherhood came out. So this was still rather recent in their heads. So what's, uh, what uh, Sean says about, you know, it wouldn't be too bad of a thing assuming you could control it, but up until now no one has. Maybe Galena can. Who knows? Anyway, it's just a theory. But I, I'm curious as to so see what's the plan? what her importance is. We're going to see what you've managed to retain. Okay. Come That's on. good enough. Finally get sure to do stuff there. with Desmond besides Looking walk. They're better funded and better equipped. So it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Good enough of a hint. Okay. Let's do this. Start by... Oh, God. Oh shit, yeah. Hi guys. Uh Lucy? I'm seeing things. Yeah. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. No. Then it's nothing to be worried Jinx. about. It'll pass. Oh, nothing to be worried about. I'm just seeing things that aren't there. No big deal. Seriously. Pretty sure I get put in a coma because of you, bitch. Of course that has nothing to do with the animus, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Sensor number one reached. Ah, almost. All right. It's so creepy, even now. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's I'm gonna skills. go across this way because it's The adoption fun. rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. <laughs> okay, made it. Desmond can do more than fuck. Walk. Ow. Oh Jesus, horse. Hello. Let me get on the horsey. No. Okay. Dang it. Oh, I see. Okay, I just made a stupid mistake, and Ed Desmond, I swear to Christ. Yeah, I just made a stupid mistake of jumping forward. I was supposed to go over here. Ah, there we are. To the next one. Got it. All right, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With, with his, his blood. blood. <laughs> I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. 
I think he knew about the vault. Oh, last one's down there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> A the few vault of the records of his later in the Vaticano. Are missing. And the sessions that are there. After everything the Templars put him through. After everything I put him through. It's all scrambled. I am not falling for your sympathy trick, so bitch. Hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. Probably would be. Yeah. Good job, bitch. Last one. Could have gone to so this one first. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. Yep, another one on the bottom floor. Why do you put him on the bottom floor? That doesn't take any skill at all. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. My mom's texting me. She must have just gotten to North Dakota. Visit in relatives. All right, I think we're done for the day. We should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. Yeah, it was. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. No, she wasn't. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. Good night, bitch. We can get killed in your sleep. I'm glad you're here. No, oh, thank you, sweet. Okay. Time to go to sleep. I think this is when I have my really weird dream. That's not really a dream, and we get to play as Altair. For the ah, damn it. Yeah. There we go. Let's just go to sleep. Ooh. Knights Templar. Hello. Yeah, my head's going. Ah. Where's the bear aspirin? Ugh. I'm out. <laughs> I need. Oh, hello, Maria. Oh, she beckons me forward. Okay. Come on. I shall follow you. Well, I guess I, I would if I could at the moment, but I can't yet. What the hell? Oh, damn! Where am I? We're in Acre. It's Acre. Altair, even Ahad. Get the fuck away from me. What the hell? Not even in the end. Fuck you! I must have passed out. Having some kind of weird dream. Oh, oh, oh. You are trying oh, my no, patience. Who knows how long? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Ah, beautiful Lacre. Mm -hmm. Going into the citadel. That must be its target. <laughs> target indeed. As Tyrion Lannister says in season one, I'm an excellent hunter. My spear never misses. <laughs> I'm sorry. Joke had to be made. First time I played this, I was literally right behind her, mashing X the whole time. I was like, "Kill the bridge," <laughs> or "Kill the asshole," because I wasn't sure it was a man at the time. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that's an issue. <laughs> that's supposed to happen because I don't think so. Let's see what face do I have. Uh, I still have Desmond's face. Almost there to a little love nest. Ah, oh, you bitch. Make me kind of. Come on! Wouldn't you want me to save my energy? I could perform so much better, you know. I'm being so. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come, wife. I vomited on a girl once. In the middle of the act, not proud of it. But I think honesty is important in a marriage, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Uh, Tyrion's amazing. I'm so scared about what's gonna happen to him in season five. I'm not reading ahead in the books because I mean I sort of I started the whole Song of Ice and Fire lore thing with the show, and so it's gonna stay that way. But anyway, to the love nest. It's the woman from Ava. What's her name? Maria. Yeah. Maria. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. All right. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Neither was I first time. I was like. <laughs> like the whole time I was trying to stab her, and well, I kind of still did, but you know, in a different context. <laughs> this has got to be the dirtiest episode of Assassin's Creed I've ever, Assassin's Creed commentary I've ever made. I'm sorry. I have some respect for the Master Assassin. 
Okay, down Wait I go. A Why aren't I following over here? Because... I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. That must be. Yep. This is one weird dream. So, but then that makes me curious as to why we could still follow. Oh no, because of the prophecy. Prophecy disc. Never mind. We just can't follow him in the Animus anymore. Because, uh, who was born first? Seth or Darim? I think Darim was born first. Alright. Wakey, wakey! Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we will. Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. Really all weird right. dreams. I'll let you get ready. How many Please people can do. say they have dreams of their ancestors consummated? Like, seriously. Ah, good of you to join us. Shut the fuck Sorry. up, Sean. Long night. What a professional. What a professional approach. Shut the fuck up, Sean. Alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean, please, that's enough. Madness, isn't it? All right. Seriously, yeah. You're being a dick. I mean, I totally understand, like, when I first played this game, I thought he was a total and complete douche nugget. Like, I did not like him at all. But now he's just funny. You know? He's just, it's just his sarcasm. It's really funny. And other people are like, oh my god, I hate Shot, he's so annoying. It's like, why? He's funny. Wait, hold on. Can I talk to these guys? I'm gonna go talk to Lucy. Hello! Oh, she doesn't look happy. Oh, no, I remember. Hey. I remember. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us, just... gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. Gotta look, have here we faith, are, the safe faith, and sound. The... <laughs> For how long? And when they find us? Then what? Yeah, when that happens, optimistic if about it. that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway, enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. It's actually kind of weird hearing um, uh, Kristen Bell's voice in the game, because I recently saw her on some type of, like, uh skin cleanser ad or something like that on TV and I was like hey that's Lucy and mom's like her name's Kristen but I was like no no it's Lucy and she was like okay whatever she had no idea what I was talking about can I talk to you again really I'm fine I promise okay now let's go talk to Sean boy can I talk to him a second time or is he just gonna tell me to fuck off no nope, he's not gonna do either I just can't I can't interact with him at all what about Rebecca Rebecca no, I'm fine. I will get back in the animus. Okay. I'm actually all out of time again. So uh, I gotta pause the episode right here. It's nice to visit Desmond again. Desmond again! I hope you guys are enjoying my replay of Assassin's Creed 2. Like and favorite if you are. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends. New play action!